and watching what I eat, man. I think that's the most important Are thing. You? And uh, this alcohol part, I think it, <laughs> it's got a lot of calories, you know. Mm, so mm. I think that's uh, the other problem for the other guys. But uh, yeah, uh, I just guys watch what I so eat. Lucky, huh? uh, I watch what oh. I drink and a little bit of training here and there. Not guys have time. it so lucky. Do you think it's, gene it's genes also? It's genes, man. And uh, maybe uh, if I look at you as well, you know, the yeah. players who are skinny and fast, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we, we don't get to... Uh, to to the level of these other guys, you know, when it comes to... No, fortunately. Yeah. No mkabas here. Yeah. No, no. Oh, we don't know what oh, that is. Okay. Mm. Guys have it so lucky. That's all I'm saying, guys. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'm not even going to play with you guys there talking <laughs> because, yeah, I'm not. What is it that you miss most about the game? Oh, my God. I think the, lo the locker room. What happens in there? Oh, the Just, locker room. Uh, the locker room. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, what uh, happens in there? Because I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm the person who, who, like, who likes to laugh. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that was my time with the guys where I enjoyed myself. You know, just before the game, there was so much fun and laughter in the local room. So I think that's, uh, that's the most uh, thing I miss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't really miss training. Mm. So, you don't yeah, miss camps best, either, uh, right? I don't yeah. miss camps. <laughs> I don't even like hotels anymore. Yeah. I don't like flying. I don't like driving. I don't. Yeah, yeah you've had it. Football has yeah, spoiled you've had a it. lot for me. That's <laughs> what I tell her, yeah. that, you know, we, we're tired of hotels. Yeah. Like, that hotel lifestyle. Mm. It's not, yeah, it's, it's not, not a, a novelty anymore. Yeah, because we lived in hotels, mm. you know, yeah. and it's For so long, man, for so long, you know. If I'm away somewhere, I can even uh, sleep at my friend's house because I, I really hate hotels. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. What memory does it bring back? Uh, just uh, that, uh, because when I'm there, I, I, I usually... That night I will be on that, uh, you know, thinking stage, you know, preparing for the game. So I think it brings back that, you know. Getting that, into the zone. Getting the, into the, the, men zone, the mental the side. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I hate being there. It uh, brings me a lot of uh, memories. Mm -hmm. Anxiety, maybe? I can, I can chill when I'm in the hotel. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah I can imagine. Mm. I can imagine. Smu, when, when did you, which team did you start playing for? Professionally, for that matter. That's like, African Wanderers. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. African Wanderers with. Uh, th Kumlani, there was two of you. Yeah, yeah, you remember that there was like a thing about you guys, yeah? yeah. A partnership. No, that's when, when we came through, uh, just the team coming through, no one knew anything about us. Uh, and we just we just started scoring man, a, a huge number of goals. I think we were top three strikers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it was not normal, you know, for, for, for the PSL. To yeah, have, yeah. We were beating teams like Pirates. I remember we, we, we beat Pirates 4-3 in Holland. Mm, that was mm, huge mm, for these mm. young boys just running around like crazy. <laughs> I remember taking Kevin Lane to the corner and, uh, and you know, scoring the goal. It's, it's just exciting, you know. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we really miss that, you know, because of our development structures. Now we don't get to, to, mm. to, you know, to welcome guys like that, you know, guys who are just going to bring fire from the township, from the school football, and uh, that's the topic for another day. Mm. But, uh, yeah, we, we, I mean, our football, it, somehow, grassroots is, uh, is spoiled. Um, I don't know, because of uh, maybe we... It made it look easy. Yeah. Was it, was it easy? Football is difficult, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's, an, it's, it's so difficult. It takes a lot out of your body. Uh, I remember my, my training growing up was, was really crazy. And uh, now having a son... <laughs> I, you say any sport I'm, but I'm football? Not, I'm not sure if I want him to play. Because, that because was our next what, question, mm. I guess. Because then. of what it took for me to get there, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I mean, I would let him go play for teams like FC Copenhagen, but he, my boy is not going to go through what I went through. Uh, uh, yeah. Locally, you wouldn't want him to play? Yeah. I get it. I, I don't yeah. think so. I don't think so. Uh, when you, you know what we went through, uh, yeah. it was too hard. Have you introduced him to the sport? Does he know what his dad did he knows, and played? He knows and now. He's young. He's only eight. Uh, he's still running around with the football. He loves yeah. football, basketball, swimming. Uh, so for now, it's just... Uh, and you're channeling it. You're just, like, yes, go swim. Yeah, yes, go yeah, play basketball. I, I, I want him to relax <laughs> and choose the sport for himself. Yeah. You know? uh, and if it is football? If it's, if it's football, then uh, yeah, uh, we, we need to go to work. 
Mm. But I'm going to let him understand that this is not going to be This is hard work. Yeah. I guess, do you feel like you sacrifice your life? You sacrifice your life for football because nothing else can exist mm. other than football. Every player that I know, every person that I've met uh, through this game tells me the same. That this was my life. Mm. Yeah. I remember it turns that, out that way, you know, we, we, we love the sport so much that yeah. we, we give everything, yeah. There was a player in the Bafana camp, I remember, him leaving earlier than the rest of everybody. And as he came to greet, and I was like, ah, and you get special treatment to leave camp. Mm -hmm. And he was like, um, my son was born a few hours ago, and so I am going to meet my, my wife, my partner, mm. in, at the hospital. And then I just stood back and I was just like, why did this guy not leave earlier? Like, why didn't we via that hotel, uh, the, the hospital, to drop him off, you know? And as he left, like, my heart ached a little bit, mm. you know? It ached for a momentous occasion in his life. And he's playing Ghana. It's, it's crazy, man, uh, because your life tends to be, you know, disturbed, I think, in a big way. I mean, a lot of... Uh, big things that has happened growing up, like losing my parents. Uh, I couldn't be there in mm. time because I was in Europe. Mm. So I uh, I lost my father. I was gonna play my first mm. game for, for Bafana Bafana. Yeah. I lost my father on Friday. Wow. We had a World Cup qualifier on Saturday. Uh, it decided uh, that uh, I mustn't be told uh, because he didn't want me to be disturbed for the match. Mm, he already mm, knew mm. that I was going to come in as a sub. I don't mm. know how, but uh, yeah. Uh, my mother, uh, I was going to play my uh, my first game in Germany. Uh, that's when I I, uh, I had the news. I came back to South Africa. So yeah, that's uh, that's the life you live when you, and you have to come back. You know, bury your your loved one. your parent, your yeah. loved ones, and then go back to work. It's tough. It's tough. I'm actually it just going to ask you. It was very tough with my mom because I couldn't, I couldn't play football, I think, for three, four months. I went back to Germany and asked the coach that, no, I want to go home. I, I couldn't hold the ball. I couldn't for, for like four months. Mm. And the team went, shoot, they went all the way down. They were all, almost relegated. Mm. You know, I always want to ask people, especially that played, you know, um, of course, you were seniors. To us, you played uh, in, in, in Europe, you played in Germany, like you've mentioned, um, you played in Denmark, which I've been once actually for Trials Bromby, by the way. Yeah. Now, I want to know from you, someone who's been through it, what do you see that is um, what's changed? And, and I'm talking about football in general uh, development, more spe uh, especially for us South Africans. What changed what changes do you see what the, what's the difference between now when you were this side and you had to go that side i want you to take us through that change you know what mm. what changed your football did it get better when you when you got there or were you always good you know or did, were the things that you've learned i mean we spoke about it that yes man i was yeah. uh, i think because i i was I, I focused so much on my game i think that was uh, the most important thing for me just to improve all the time mm. uh, and the whole focus was with uh, the national team mm. so uh, luckily i had friends like phil uh, when i played for pirates but just to take you uh, i was I was almost there, mm. talking Polish wise, mm. Polish wise as a player. Mm. You know, going that side because I've uh, played for Wanderers. Of course, Pirates is a big yeah, team. You know, yeah. I've learned a lot from uh, Orlando Pirates as well. But uh, you'll never be ready for Europe. Okay, before, before, have, before you yeah. answer, before yeah. you go to that point, sorry to disturb you. Did you have any structured development? No, no, no. no. Okay. Uh, I, I was never part of. Uh, football academy okay. so everything i knew was taught by my, my community mm. yeah. uh, learn from my friends and uh, i was a student of the game i wanted to learn uh, different uh, growing up i was uh, i watched different uh, leagues bundesliga mm. uh, italian football uh, had favorite players there uh, yeah but you never if uh, if you don't take the game serious you, you have to prepare yourself i was almost there when, when I'm talking polished wise, mm. maybe 75, 80 percent, mm. because I tell you why. 
uh, when I, I had so much confidence going there, but my first game, uh, we were playing away, I scored the goal. We didn't win the game. Second game, I'm in the stand, I'm not playing. So that's when they start explaining now that, listen, uh, you are very good in this and this and this, uh, but you're still disturbing the team when it comes to defending. You don't know where to stand. And, and by then, uh, I've already played for Orlando Pirates. And you think you yeah. are there? I'm Lovely. thinking mm. that, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, the yeah. man. I've arrived. Yeah, I'm going to be the main man here. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to score goals. They put me in the stand and said, listen, we have a lot to teach you. You see, those small things, mm. that's what our boys need. That's why I'm always, you know, pleading for these boys to go to Europe, learn how to play yeah. proper. When you're talking football proper. Yeah. yeah. So do you think that there is sense in what Coach Zinbawa said when he left South Africa? Because he highlights the very same things you just did now, where he says you are great players, you know, but it's about the basics first, you know, um, in order to grow the game or else we'll forever be on this plateau, you know, where we've plateaued and we don't see a spike, especially at a PSL level, in terms of teams getting better and better because of uh, uh, a solid uh, foundation, you know? I'm not saying raw talent isn't a good thing, and you come into the game with that, but there are those fundamentals, the very basics, the core of which football is probably built on that really need to be learned first. Romy, we, we can talk about this on, for hours. The gap is too big. Mm. We, we need to agree on that first. But do you think players take it as an insult when you say that? I mean, did you take it as an insult sitting in the stands thinking you have arrived? Listen, I'm a player is, of caliber. This is the game you have to study your opponents, you study your teammates, your coach. You're always learning with football. So your state, you, you're always there, you want to learn. Mm. So for them to go there, it's, it's good because coming back, they're going to help our national team. Mm. But I mean, Europe, we need to take it seriously. Our development, we need to take it seriously. Mm, mm. Yeah. We came from, we spoke about this a few days ago. Uh, me and Benny, uh, I think, and a lot of uh, guys that uh, my teammates uh, from that time. From back in the day. From back in the day. <laughs> uh, we, we were in Europe for close to most of the guys, eight, 10 years, 11 years, mm, here and there. That's a long time. Yeah, mm. that's a long time. But a lot of us are not a product of a, a football school or an mm, academy, mm, mm, mm. you know? So already that tells you that we have talent here in South Africa. Mm. If with what we, with what we know, uh, so little that we know, we can take on Europe, just imagine with, you know, FIFA approved, facilities yeah. wow. in our townships mm. yeah. where football is. The reason we are in this mess, I'm, I'm not saying we are in a mess, but <laughs> our football is just, mm. uh, I think we, 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 we tend to, you know, open a gap as well with our school football. I don't know for what reason, because that's where football is yeah, for us. That's where it should live. Yeah. Yeah. Live and breathe. Um, how else? Because I know football is in your blood and it's even though you don't play anymore, it's still a big part of your life, you know. How would you say you meet football now? Is it, is it in a different space as an ambassador? And how is it that you, you bring, I guess, the brand that is Sibusi Suzuma to, to, to different entities within the football space? Oh, Romy, I'm trying to have a huge uh, footprint. Uh, especially with the, with the development, you know, uh, we we have to start breeding our our own uh, football players. I mean, the first time I saw Nomvete playing, I was it was uh, close, same, almost same age as me, mm. but I was shocked. Mm. You know, I got goosebumps. His speed, his stop and go, the way he, he had a different style yeah, than mine. Yeah. You know. So uh, what I'm trying to do is, uh, with Spusi Suzuma Legacy, we're trying to have uh, proper football centers, but not really football centers, all, sport co all sporting codes. Nice, nice. But we're trying to have something like that all over South Africa, so we can look at in every corner in South Africa. Because if you look at, in South Africa, our talent, our defenders, you'll find that most of our good defenders in South Africa are in Durban and Cape Town. Mm. So, Why? So look at our football like that. The skill, uh, most of the skill is uh -huh. uh, around uh, in the townships, townships and showbacks. Yeah. yeah, you know, uh, yeah. 
So is it um, that different provinces breed different positions? Yeah, it, it happens. It, it's football. You can't find, you know, it's different style. Even in, uh, you go outside uh, South Africa, you know, you, you find uh, most good midfielders in places like Ghana, uh -huh. you know, yeah. Is it modelled on who comes from that area? Because I'm just thinking, Abedi McCarthy comes from Cape Town. If you take a look at the Cape Flats and you mentioned defence comes from there, I'm thinking of a Rushin Dariak, for example, who comes from a Bishop Lavis, plays for Mamelodi Sundowns, but that's not quite the position that Benny might have assumed, you know? So is it based on the stars? What is it based on? I'm quite intrigued by we that fact. We don't know until we start, uh, you know, uh, placing these uh, developments in these areas. Because as soon as we have FIFA-approved facilities in our townships, where our boys can just walk, train in a proper uh, turf, mm -hmm. that's what we need. Usually our boys, when they have to leave now, they have to go for, for, for places like Bundesliga, you know, Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, you find that his touch, he's still working on his touch. That's what you do on on the grassroots development. Yeah, yeah. Young, very young. Yes. Your touch, your tense, everything. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I wanna shift a little bit to you as a brand now, Sumuda. I know you with MTN Eight as well. You 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 know ambassador yeah. of MTN Eight. But just before that one, there's that logo of yours with the. With the you overhead know, key. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How's that going? Uh, we, Is it your brand? It's uh, it's the whole legacy. Yeah. The whole legacy was built around that logo mm -hmm. because it's something real. We we took a picture and we make it we, we made it a logo. Who decided? How did you decide? So I decided. Okay. I decided to do that uh, because uh, they uh, they decided to put a number ten on. Uh, on the stadium outside, yeah, uh, and then that's uh, in yeah uh, in, in 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 Copenhagen, yeah, yeah. and then uh, do you know the logo, Romy? Yeah. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. and then, I do. And then a few months later, I had that uh, monument that people have been talking about, yeah, yeah outside parking. Uh, then I decided to use it as a logo. You know, this is uh, this is something that I'm, I'm I'm really proud of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's huge because it opens doors. You know, for mm. my brothers and sisters uh, that side. Mm. And I'm hoping uh, a lot of kids from South Africa are gonna follow Luda to Denmark nice. and other areas. You know, mm. because of uh, yeah of the job we, we did. You've done. Time, yeah. I guess you have. You've literally paved and, the road. And Romy, not just me, because. Uh, even when people thought, no ways, this guy is this good, uh, maybe it's a fluke. Mm. Uh, yeah. Guys like Josta came through, mm. they did the, did the same job, and they saw that, okay, these South Africans are for real, so they know what we can do. Do you think you're celebrated more outside of SA than what you are in SA? Uh, I know that uh, I've been celebrated in, in Denmark, Copenhagen, uh, Germany, they they love me in Bielefeld. Mm. So I think that question for for the guys that I grew up playing with, uh, guys that are not celebrated, we, we, we need to just... So the answer is yes? No, we, we need to turn it and ask it uh, to the football clubs here in South Africa. So you are can't... celebrated more outside of South yes, Africa yes. than inside yes. South Africa. Because if you take a look at musicians, for example, your Abdullah Ibrahim, um, the the late... Um, Yuma Sikela. Yuma Sikela, yeah. correct. And they will tell you the same stories, you know. They'll tell you that in South Africa, in the very place where they're from, um, not much. But take them outside Rami. and they're wowed, man. It's like celebrity status on another level. The, the, the only uh, music show, and I was not even in because it was sold out, it was full, uh, was in Copenhagen, Lucky Dube came. Mm. And uh, I've never seen so many white people going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Dube was huge. Yeah. It was yeah. huge all over Europe. So you'll... From there, you can see that South Africans, we're not uh, people that celebrate our, 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 our own. Yeah. Our own. And it's sad. It's sad that we have that inherent culture as not to. And I still think it's, um, and just personally speaking, it's more like you've attained something, you are something probably which I aspire to or I want. And so therefore, I'm not going to celebrate you because... I want that success. You know, I don't know if you feel the same, mm, Dekhan. Mm. Um, and perhaps a little bit of jealousy, which it shouldn't be. But, but what about what, uh, what I've learned 
uh, all these years. Uh, I mean, I've spent nine years in Europe. So that's a lot of, uh, you know, knowledge, uh, looking around what's going on there. Denmark, uh, from the time I was there, uh, their national team has gotten better. Uh, they have more players in England, and I've watched them develop, starting their development. You mm -hmm. know? They started uh, by telling their fans, everyone in Denmark said, listen, we want to start building now, so you don't have to ask questions. They taught them how to support their national team. So I think our fans need that as well. We need to teach them how to support yeah. our national yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. You can't just talk uh, anyhow with the, with the foot with, with the player because he, he plays for the national team mm. or the coach. Mm. There's a way to to do this thing. So I think we need to start there. But yeah. I know that there's no better place than home because I love traveling. But my favorite is really coming through customs and I'm at home. Yeah. You know, and somebody says. Kup. Sharp, yeah. you know, and I'm just like, yeah. That's home. why. That's why we here as well. That's why we back in South. It's Africa. my question that yeah. I want to ask you. I mean, if it is that you're celebrated there, you're respected there, they know the caliber of person and player you are. Why come home and set up the legacy here? I mean, because there is no other place. There is no other place like home. Uh, even when I was playing, when I was top there. I couldn't wait for December to come so I can be down in mm. Durban with my family, mm. uh, eating pap. And, yeah, yeah, eating yeah, no. pap and meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it> was... <laughs> I, but, and there's no inclination to want to go back, you know, or afford your kids a passport uh, from a different culture well, uh, or country, or perhaps empower them with, I'm sure you speak German. Well, with time, because uh, for there to get into a certain age, uh, my uh, my two daughters, one was born in Copenhagen, mm -hmm. one was born in Germany, so they are citizens. That's side. nice. Uh, as soon as they turn twenty, and then that's when they can go that side, uh, study whatever, free. Mm -hmm. so what about the sun? South African. The sun is South African. Rainbow so Nation. He needs to <laughs> go on Orlando Pirates for trials. <laughs> Hey, you want him to have a parents? <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you, is that what you want? No. He said no. He said no. He said no. Um, was language a barrier when you landed on the other side? Were you like, because German, you, you, similar to Afrikaans, you know, it's a very harsh language yeah. kind of thing. But did you have an ear? Or did it take you a while to tune in? Well, I think, you know, when someone is not doing well, would. You know, people, they will hide from that, that okay, language or maybe the weather mm, and mm, what. Mm. But if, if, if you are doing well, you are happy, mm. uh, language is not a problem. I don't have to speak to them. You know, football is universal. It is the so, language, yeah. yeah. I know, so the players understood me. I will tell you one thing. Uh, Roy Hudson, uh, when he came to coach, uh, that's... Uh, the year we're gonna we're gonna win the league for mm. the first time. The year I scored mm. the overhead kick, the the the, the, the spectacular yeah. one. Yeah, he came. He told us that we were gonna win the league. He said, listen to me. Started with our defense. Uh, he worked for I think five six weeks with only our defense and the, and the goalkeepers. I mean, but you know, to have someone like that coming with that level of coaching and a lot of uh, coaching, uh, he never coached me once. He told me, he said, listen, just be yourself all the time when mm. I step on the field. He said, Zuma, you understand what you are doing. So just be yourself and then you will coach the other guys how to play with me. Mm. Confidence. Yeah. Mm. So Confidence. I, 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 I didn't have to speak to them, you know, they understood my game. But nine years later in Europe? Well, I can speak uh, a little bit of Danish, I can speak a little bit of German, so mm -hmm. I could understand because you speak with your teammates a lot, you know, where there is a, we speak a lot of uh, bull in, in the change room, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah. You <laughs> first, uh, first learn the swear words. Yes, yeah. obviously, that's, that's where, obviously that's where how you, you learn a language, you start, you start all the wrong things uh, first. But Buddha, we would, uh, I know we there's, there's just so much we want to talk about in terms of football and you in general, yeah. but 
um, we are going to have that section. Yeah, we have to. Yeah. Now, coming to the MTN8, mm -hmm. what um, is your, you know, your role? What do you, what do you do for MTN8? Well, uh, the fans, man, voted for us. Uh, I just said that the fans voted, so uh, I came and be part of it. Uh, mm -hmm. I told them that I was uh, gonna be busy at some stage, and then they recalled me this year. But we just been having a plus, man. Mm -hmm. You know, to uh, as I've been telling you that I miss, you know, locker room speaking with the guys. Mm. Because now I'm, uh, I'm always home. Mm. It's good to see the guys, you know, and uh, the the road shows. We mm -hmm. get to travel South Africa. Um, I mean, it's even with uh, with the Jay Z and uh, the the dream uh, the dream bags. Mm. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, there's uh, this thing they call uh, the dream bags with MTN. Okay. This is when we we, we travel, you know, in the rural area around South Africa. Yeah. Uh, football uh, kids, soccer boats, you, you must see the joy man, with these mm, kids. Wow. Sure. Sure. The next thing, because you get that a lot, as soon as we give them these things, they want to play against us. You know? <laughs> Cute so, man. Oh, that's, uh, that's and you been, let them win, right? That's been, uh, that's been amazing, <laughs> man. And just uh, to spend time with the boys, I think that's the most important, you know. The, the, the charity is amazing. Big up to MTN. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, just to be around the boys, uh, that's what I'm enjoying. 100%. Is there a mission that you're on when you join a team like that, when you say you go into the rural parts and impart some knowledge, a little bit of love, and like you said, a gift goes a long way. But is there an aim? And what is that aim, especially with your involvement? I'm sure, yes, it's great to be involved, but there's got to be that element of give back, you know? And for you, what is that? Well, uh, we... Uh We've spoken uh, to uh, to MTN uh, because we love the fact that we go around South Africa, you know, giving away all these, uh, you know, goodies, uh, the football shirts, the boots. But we don't stay and uh, and help the community, you know. So we we want to do more. Okay. That's, that's what we are saying. Uh, let us come back and help the kids in a greater um, way. Yeah, in perhaps a, a more way. sustainable way. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's uh, that's what we're talking about right now. So. The talks are going great because just leaving uh, the jerseys and the boots doesn't help. Mm, mm. Yeah. Are these stories being told? You know, are these stories being, I guess, like loud hailer across the country? Because a lot of times we hear about what is being done, yeah. you know, what should be done rather than what is being done. Oh, well, Tim uh, I will tell you, mm. you know, we, I, I grew up playing with one soccer boot. It was so difficult to get uh, a pair. Mm. And uh, 2021, after we've hosted the World Cup, I go to some of the places, the boys are still playing barefoot. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. I've been to Europe for a very long time. I know what's going on there. They have everything they need. You know, that's why the gap, we can't even close it mm. uh, because of... Because it's so big. Yeah, it's, it's massive. Yeah. Mm. So it's, um, it's, it's, it's something that is bought us, you know, uh, as legends, uh, we sit around and talk, uh, it needs to change. I mean, uh, our boys need, you know, better chance as well, you know, mm. let's, uh, let's mm. give him a proper chance as mm. well. Mm. Do, you, do you still play with the legends? I've yeah. never played with the legends. Uh, but you socially, haven't? Socially. Yeah, because, uh, well, uh, especially, we, what, I, I, haven't, why, I haven't why? got time because I don't know who's who, oh. what is going on with the legends team, you know. Yeah. I mean, we, Cause with I, us, when I, you know, when I, uh, mm. you know the, the other legends, yeah. uh, the guys that have organized, I think there's a team, there's a team, the so, legends team. Yeah, so until last month, I got a phone call, uh, and then they said they were going to call me, there is a game coming for the legends, yeah. I think that is South Africa now. So for the first time, I might be, I, I might be part of that. <laughs> you know what, before I, the Bafana game starts, yeah. we should have the legends. Yeah. Remember they used to have that? The, oh, like the yeah, legends the, used to be like the raises. opener. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. They should bring that back. But I guess there's also COVID, you know, okay, which, that's, we, that's which kind of threw us down in the works. Oh, even before, there was, I don't think we had a team because I asked Doctor a long time ago, I said, do you have a team? Yeah. He was not sure as well. And I heard that he was part of uh, yeah, the yeah. setup. Uh, I, was, uh, I was fortunate to, uh, to speak to uh, Luda Matthias when he was here in South Africa, mm. I think last year. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's the one in German who's in charge of all the legends team. 
So he's in are charge. You, are yeah. you there also there? No, 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 no. But I'm talking about they have a system like that in Germany. Okay. You know, we that need, works. We need, that works. Yeah, yeah, that works. And he's in charge of a huge pool. I think he's got about 30 something teams. But I think that that is yeah. the discrepancy where you, we draw that parallel again from a grassroots level in South Africa to overseas, what is being done. Mm -hmm. It's massive. Mm -hmm. You take a look at the legends being organized there, whereas here, Ah, yeah. the legends are not even organized, yeah. you know? The gap yeah. is what he was talking yes. about. Talking about yeah. this and we is do need to, to bridge that gap. This is the space I'm talking about. I mean, for the legends to not having a setup like that, mm. uh, there's too much of a gap between them and the players who are playing mm. right now. Mm. Because I was able to get an info from uh, Phil Massinger playing in Italy and said, Zuma, you need to go there because, you know, the defense is different. It's something you haven't seen. Yeah. These guys, they really, you know, take time and focus on, 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 on moving, you know, the way we've never been. And it was earlier, you know, mm. Uh, mm. to get that info while I'm playing for Pirates was, you know, priceless. Yeah. You know, was yeah. priceless, was getting me ready for Europe. Yeah. So that's, that's the thing. If you open that gap, we, we don't see these young boys, we don't sit with mm. them and talk. Hmm. Then we're gonna have a problem. Our our football is yeah yeah. yeah. I want I want to ask you about the question that we always ask the um, our guests here mm -hmm. on Thursdays. Now, Smoo, I know there's a difference between you earning money here and there. <laughs> <laughs> that side. Mm. Were now, you coining it? <laughs> yeah. You know you know our, our favorite question. Yeah. <laughs> what what difference did what difference did you see immediately? for you, you know, when you got that first like salary or signing on fee, that side versus uh, here. Versus here. What did you do with it? Like, I know it, it probably was something that was like, yo, I've never seen this kind of no, you know, but, uh, amount. I think my, my first Copenhagen check, yeah. uh, it was so big and I was, I was really, Big, like how big? Were you shocked? Uh, no, because you know, from African Wanderers yeah. to Orlando, <laughs> exactly. to Orlando Pirates, yeah. mm -hmm. and then straight shoo, Copenhagen, yeah. uh, and then now with my first check, I sure. can afford to buy my mother a house. I mean, straight. Oh, yeah. Wow! Yeah. But I couldn't do that uh, with the years that I've played for Pirates. You know, so. So it was that's, big. That's a different. Yeah. Did so, you Wait, but in numbers, how big? Yeah, in numbers, it was huge. It was <laughs> how much? It was, yeah, it was a long much? time ago. Yeah, I was, but I how, much? Roughly how much? How much? Um, I think from Pirates, uh, that time I just signed uh, a new contract. Ivan was so lucky because I just signed and then I got that opportunity. Yeah. FC Copenhagen really wanted me. So you signed with Pirates signed, for how much? Yeah, I signed. Uh, I think I was going to I was gonna get. Uh, when the new contract starts, I was going to get, I think, 30,000. Mm -hmm. For pirates? Yeah, for yeah. pirates. 30,000 a month. OK, okay. Yeah. Yeah. With, Then you uh, shoot on over. On the fee. Yeah. Then uh, from, I, I, I don't think I was even getting that 30 yet. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, I left, yeah. I uh, Wanderers was too small, man. How much? Wanderers, I think we got about uh, 500 rands. What? Uh, what? No way. Uh, what? Uh, something like that. And uh, I was driving from Hammersdale to Devon, so it was not enough to take me from school to, to training. Luckily, uh, African Wanderers boss was uh, he was staying in my township. So, oh, but that's it. Yeah, he was uh, everyone on yes, the I side. Did. <laughs> so I can get to him. <laughs> oh, so I can get to him. Oh, so from uh, from from Devon, and I think I I went straight to. Uh, to about maybe 250. Oh, yo, hold she's, on, hold on. She's list. thinking shoes, heels. <laughs> huh? yeah. How many heels then? Sure. How many how I many could have like an entire wardrobe of yeah. shoes on its own. I know. I know. Wow. L just imagine it. Imagine. In mm. your account. Imagine. Plus now it, it, it shows up on your phone, isn't it? You get a notice. Yeah. <sighs> Heaven, man, heaven. So now what you, what you want to do is you want to win your games so you can get bonuses and, and stuff. But See, money is a motivator. Yeah. Money Did, is definitely a motivator. Yeah. I have no more questions. Let's say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Eh? It just, it's like drop the mic moment. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's nothing compared to, uh, I mean, it's really nothing compared, uh, compared to uh, Bundesliga, uh, mm -hmm. Spain, England. It's totally, it's... 
it's peanuts. Wow. Yeah. Do you, do, does it change you? No, but it's as, uh, as a person. You know, right do, now do you, you see yourself changing. Right now you're looking at uh, you're looking at this, how much was coming in, what I was getting, but the different uh, I was putting on now different uh, load of work. So there was stuff that I was doing there that deserve. Oh, that you have to yeah, yeah. justify yeah, the performance changes. Mm. You improve as a player. That's uh, the work you are Motivate doing. Motivate. Yeah. Money is a motivator. You know yeah. you can die doing this. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, I'm actually yeah. quite happy to say that I worked on the touchline. You know yeah. when uh, Zbu actually played, and so I handed over a couple of man of the matches oh. to this very man here. Yeah. What was up with the bleached hair? Oh, yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because that was my favorite. Nice one. Yeah. Nice they, one. Then when nice they come one. and they're like, oh, Zuma is man of the match, it's so easy. I love it. Yeah. Like, if you wear different uh, boots and you've got like a funky hairstyle, yeah, yeah. then I'm just like, it's either I check your hairstyle or I check your boots. Yeah. Because when you're all together, I'm sorry, but you all do look, a, look alike, yeah. you know? Yeah. Then when I find you like outside, dressed outside of your kit, then I'm just like, who is this? Oh, is this the game? <laughs> so I loved it if there was a different hairstyle or bright colored boots, and that way I'd know exactly who you are. So if it was that you, you were in front of me and no one said who it was, I could either look at hair or at boots and I'd know exactly who you are. Yeah. So you made it easy for me. Thank you. Yeah, man. That was, uh, <laughs> that, that was pretty special. Yeah, bleach, bleach, the bleach uh, situation. You know, you know Tumi Sangobe came up with that. Oh, yes, he did. Uh, I, I well. told him after I, I spoke to my grandmother. My grandmother was one of my biggest fans. Mm -hmm. Uh, growing up, she was uh, living in a rural area, so I would go, you know, uh, make sure I get water for her, you know, mm. I, I clean the place, mm. you know, and uh, and, and I, I used to walk a, a very long distance for my grandmother, that's why mm. she, we are very close. Mm. And then uh, when I joined Pirates, she tells me that, ah, so, but we you know once you're running around with that black and white, uh, Kids, I, I, I can't see. Yes, Gogo, yeah, I, I agree with you. Up. I agree, Gogo. So I yeah. agree. <laughs> so I now spoke. Yeah. So I spoke okay. to Dumi. Uh, I spoke to Dumi. I was like, hey, I, think I was talking to my granny, and she's. Uh, and he was she like, I know, see man. Me. I was thinking. I was thinking uh, to go get, you know, you know, uh, to color my hair. Yeah. And yeah. he was the one who started. I think he had a round thing here, and I just do. My, I did my whole uh, oh. yeah. head. Yeah. Uh, then from then, she she was able now to watch uh, the <laughs> whole game. Uh, you know, like big ups to them. Yeah, big yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Give, you know, give, no. give granny a horn. <laughs> granny deserves a horn yeah. yeah. because he, he, she made you get that bleached hair. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that stood out. Yeah. It definitely helped me because I struggled with the I same thing. Have, I wouldn't think that would be the reason, or you know, mm. to do to have a bleach. And, and she was really, bleached. and she was really old. She, she, uh, I think she passed away at uh, age of one hundred and wow, yeah, one o one o three, one o four, somewhere there. Uh, Granny is ninety six. Thanks, oh, Coco, for yeah. She could walk. She was, she was a very strong woman. Yeah. Oh yeah. Smooth. Hey, Gogo. Hey, that bleach uh, <laughs> made, made her live longer, man. No, no, no. It, it, yeah, she, it did yeah. the job. It did the job. It yeah. did. It yeah. did. Yeah. You, you wouldn't do that again? Ah, uh, no, no, no. Now I'm getting uh, my grey hair, so I'll wait for that. There's a reason for you to bleach. <laughs> no, bleach it, the it's highlights. Hair. The grey is highlights on, now. He's got highlights, highlights. But I don't see any now. No, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. It's yeah. Coming, yeah. I don't see any either. No, okay, Aging gracefully, isn't yeah. he? It's 27 minutes after five, and that is how we say goodbye hey. right here on The Locker Room. Uh, Zbo, it was good having you. Thank you. Thank you for coming through. And we hope you'll come again, because no, there's, there's still so punching. much to talk about. I mean, nine years out in Europe, uh, versus that big gap that you talk about that we need to bridge in our football still today, I think is a worthy discussion and we'd love your insight it's as a legend. It's up to you guys, it's up to you. We spoke earlier, uh, mm. yeah, I'll come back for you. No, Anytime. Yeah. Great. So we have a standing date sometime soon. Yeah. Uh, a, a big thank you. Uh, Mr. Mabalane, yes, you wanna, do you yes, want to yes. say goodbye? Of course, of course. And um, uh, goodbye bring us for out? now, but we're going to have a big definitely, that's for sure. Because we need to also, uh, you know, delve deeper into our football. Because who's the right person other than him? Yeah, yeah. You know, who's done, who's gone beyond expectations? Mm. I think in terms of football. So, um, Spuda. No, guys. Thank you so much for
we, we want to have you back, sure. Awesome. And that's how we say goodbye. We're back again tomorrow between 3 and 6 p.m. For me, Romy Titus and the crew, a big thank you. So this is actually out. We recorded it today, so you get to go back and take a look at it. Uh, uh, nice. It's on the socials as well. So, yeah, we do our best to uh, get out the interesting dates that we have here in the locker room. For me, Romy Titus and the team, till tomorrow. Cheerio. Vision View Sports Radio. We are sport. Hey. 24 hours in the game.